Hi everyone, thanks for continuing to watch our mechanical ventilation talk. And up to this point, you've learned a lot of concepts. So now it's just time to quickly solidify and reinforce everything you've learned so far. There are many modes of ventilation, and you will soon start to realize that they are all a combination of different types of triggers, targets, and cycles. So this video will require a lot of participation from you with sample questions, requiring you to pause the video to challenge yourself. So let's get started. Pressure assist control ventilation. Three questions for you. What is the trigger variable? Is it flow or pressure, time, or both? What is the target variable? Is it pressure, flow, or both? What is the cycle variable? Is it volume, time, flow, or pressure? Pause the video now and let's discuss. Okay, pressure assist control ventilation. What is a trigger variable? A lot is said in the name in the mode of ventilation. This is an assist control mode, meaning it's a hybrid mode, meaning you can have assisted breaths and controlled breaths. So if you have assisted breaths, what is the trigger variable there? It's going to be flow or pressure. And what about controlled breaths? What is the trigger variable there? Well, the trigger variable there is time. So this is a hybrid mode. So therefore, the trigger is going to be both. What is the target variable in pressure assist control ventilation? Well, the target variable can either be pressure or flow. You can never have both be a target variable, ever. In all modes of ventilation, the target variable can only be pressure or flow. And in this case, in pressure AC ventilation, the target variable is pressure. Now, what about the cycle variable? The cycle variable in pressure assist control ventilation is time. So remember, in pressure AC, we set the pressure control, right here, the target variable, and the inspiratory time, which is the cycle variable. Now, you don't have to memorize this, but pressure assist control ventilation is a pressure targeted time cycled mode. So let's take a look here. Or what is our, the question is, what is our trigger variable here? Here we can say this one is a controlled breath because there's no negative deflection and no pink line. This is our trigger variable with the respiratory rate has been set, but we also have a flow trigger set at five liters per minute. That's our trigger variables. Our target variable is pressure, which is your pressure control. Our cycle variable here is inspiratory time, which has been set to 0 0.9 seconds. And our baseline phase is our PEEP of five. Let's go to volume assist control ventilation. Same concept. What is your trigger variable? What is your target variable? What is your cycle variable? Why don't you pause the video now and let's figure it out. Okay, volume assist control ventilation. Again, what is the trigger? It's all in the name. It's an assist control mode. It's a hybrid mode. So in this case, it's going to be lower pressure, it's going to be time as well for your controlled breaths, so therefore the trigger variable is both. Now what is the target variable in volume assist control ventilation? You can only have one target, you can never have both. So the target variable, if you remember, is going to be flow, because in volume AC mode we set the flow. What is the cycle variable, meaning what is this, the variable that will terminate a breath? In volume assist control ventilation, the cycle variable is volume. Once I've set 500 cc's, the breath will stop being delivered. So remember, in volume AC mode, we set the maximum flow rate as well as the waveform, whether it looks like decelerating ramp or square or constant waveform, in addition to the tidal volume. Again, you don't have to memorize this, but in volume assist control ventilation, you have a flow targeted volume cycled mode. So let's take a look. So here we have volume control mode. Our trigger variable is going to be assisted breaths and controlled breaths. For the assisted breaths, the trigger is a flow of two liters per minute. And a backup controlled breaths is a rate of 12 breaths per minute, which is a time of five seconds. Our target variable is a maximum flow of 50 liters per minute in addition to the waveform that we sent. 
our cycle variable is 500 liters per minute, and our baseline variable is a PEEP of 5. Pressure support ventilation. Same questions I'm going to ask you. What is the trigger? What is the target? What is the cycle? A little bit more talk? Pause the video. Let's figure it out. Okay, so what is the trigger variable for pressure support ventilation? Now remember, in pressure support ventilation, we do not set a respiratory rate. All the breaths that are being triggered are being triggered by the patient. Therefore, our trigger variable is going to be either flow or pressure, whatever you, the operator, sets. What is the target variable? In pressure support ventilation, the target variable is pressure because you set a pressure support. What is your cycle variable in pressure support ventilation? The cycle variable is flow. Remember the inspiratory cycle off or the ICO, that percentage? After it reaches a certain percentage of the peak inspiratory flow, the breath cycles. So remember, in pressure support ventilation, we set the pressure support, your target variable. In addition, we set the inspiratory cycle off, which is your flow cycle. And there is no respiratory rate. Therefore, all the breaths being triggered are being triggered by the patient. Long story short, pressure support ventilation is a pressure targeted flow cycle mode. So let's take a look right here. Notice that there's no respiratory rate over here at all. Here's our target variable, the pressure support above the peep. Our cycle variable right here is 20% of the peak inspiratory flow. And our baseline phase, which is a peep of five. Okay, so you have two waveforms here. You have the pressure and the flow, pressure, flow. What is the difference between these two waveforms? Pause the video now and we'll discuss. Okay, so what is the difference between these two? First thing I do is I figure out the target variable. On the left, what is this patient's target variable? Here I go, my eyes go straight to the flow waveform and I see it looks like a dependent variable. It doesn't look smooth, doesn't look like something I have set. So therefore, this is your dependent variable and your independent variable or your target variable is going to be pressure. And you can confirm that because each pressure waveform looks exactly the same and identical. So the target variable here is pressure. What mode of ventilation do I know where pressure is my target variable? This is a pressure control mode. Let's contrast that with here. What is my target variable in this patient? My eyes, again, go straight to the flow. And I look to see if it looks smooth and exact like the independent variable. And it does. This cannot be a dependent variable because everything looks super smooth. It looks preset. It's the independent variable. Therefore, I know flow is my independent variable or my target variable because they all look exactly the same. What mode of ventilation do I know where flow is my target variable? Volume control ventilation. So let's take a look. Just by looking at the waveforms, we can figure this out. We know this is a pressure control mode. And taking a look here, we know this is a volume control mode. We have just looked at the waveforms and nothing else. And you should be able to decipher what mode of ventilation the patient is receiving. So we have two waveforms here. What is the mode of each of these? What is the settings of each of these? And what is the difference between each of these? Why don't you pause the video now and we'll discuss. Okay. So let's, so let's take a look at this first patient here. Uh, what's my target variable? My target variable here cannot be flow because it looks it doesn't look smooth. It looks like your dependent variable. So my target variable here is pressure. Pressure is my target variable. What mode of ventilation do I know where pressure is my target variable? This is a pressure control. Let's look at the patient on the right. Again, my eyes go to the flow. This does not look smooth. It does not look like an independent variable. It's my dependent variable. So I know my independent variable here is pressure. So I'm confirming that. And I can see that each of the waveforms look exactly the same. So this mode of ventilation is pressure control as well. So the question is, what's the difference between these two? You have pressure control on this side and you have pressure control on this side. 
So if you take a closer look, the difference between these two pressure control settings is the inspiratory time. See how the second patient's inspiratory time is much longer than the first. So again, let's confirm here. We have pressure control, pressure control. The inspiratory time for this patient is 0.48 seconds, whereas the inspiratory time here is 1.0 seconds. So you can recall that the cycle variable in pressure control is time. So this is how you manipulate the inspiratory time and the duration of a breath is by just changing the inspiratory times. Let's take a look at this one. What is the mode of each of these patients? What's the settings and what's the difference between both of them? Pause the video now and we'll take a look. All right, so for this patient, we can see that the flow is likely your independent variable, therefore it is your target variable. You can confirm that because this waveform here looks like a dependent variable. It doesn't look smooth, a little erratic. So what mode of ventilation do we know that flow is our target variable? That's volume control ventilation. Now, let's look at this patient here. What is the mode of ventilation? I'm trying to figure out my target. My target variable here is likely flow again, making this your dependent variable. The flow wouldn't look so smooth if it was your dependent variable. Flow is my target variable. What mode of ventilation do I know where flow is my target variable? Volume control ventilation. Now, interesting question, what's the difference? There are two key differences here. The two key differences you want to take note of is number one is the inspiratory time. The second patient is much longer than that of the first patient. But also, I want you to also get in the habit of not just looking across the x-axis, but also look on the y-axis. The flow rate here is much higher than the flow rate here. So let's confirm what we've just talked about. This patient is volume control. This patient is volume control. We've confirmed that. Now look at the flow rate here. It's set to 80, whereas the flow rate here is only set to 50. Much higher, much lower. And you can see on volume control, the way to manipulate the inspiratory time is by changing the flow rate. The higher the flow rate, the shorter the inspiratory time. The smaller the maximum flow rate, the longer the inspiratory time. Again, the way to manipulate inspiratory time on volume control is by changing the maximum flow rate. Remember, in pressure control, the cycle variable is time. However, in volume control, there's no way to directly change inspiratory time, and it is inadvertently done by adjusting the maximum flow rate. Here's another example. You can see the flow rate here is 30, whereas the flow rate here is 50. So if your flow rate is 30, your inspiratory time will be 0.9 seconds. However, if your flow rate is 50, the inspiratory time reduces to 0.54 seconds. Increasing the maximum flow rate decreases your inspiratory time. Decreasing your maximum flow rate increases your inspiratory time. And that's how you adjust inspiratory time on volume control ventilation. Okay, so what mode do we have here? Why don't you pause the video, take a second, and we'll figure it out. All right, so this one's a little bit more difficult, so let's break it down. We have a pressure scaler here and a flow scaler here. Again, my eyes will jump straight to the flow scaler to see if it looks like something I preset. I can take note here that this looks like a dependent variable, doesn't look like something I've set. So I know my target variable here is pressure. And I can confirm that because the amplitude of every single pressure is exactly the same. So what mode of ventilation is this? Now, most of you might jump to think that this is pressure control, but it is not pressure control ventilation. And the way you can tell is look at the duration of each breath. It's actually quite different. This one's a little shorter. This one's a little bit longer than the last one. And this is the longest here. Remember, in pressure control ventilation, the cycle variable is time. 
which means the duration of every breath should be the same. However, in this case, the inspiratory time is completely different, so it cannot be pressure control ventilation. Instead, this is pressure support ventilation. And you can see here you have a pressure support of eight. What is the cycle variable in pressure support? It's flow. So again, that's why the duration of each breath in this waveform is completely different. So once the, the flow reaches 25% of the maximum flow rate here, or your ICO, it cycles the breath. So the duration of the breath here is completely dependent on the peak inspiratory flow. You can see that the maximum flow on each of these breaths are completely different. Again, this is pressure support ventilation. The target variable is pressure. The cycle variable is flow. Thanks for watching the video. Join me in the next video where we'll be talking about loops.